Hey guys, another day and another month. And so we're going to be looking at your tarot here for October. Now, I'm not going to steal too much of your time here up front. Just wanting to mention that I have a new edition at the very end of the video. I've added a meditation for you and I've picked the card, the High Priestess. So putting in keywords for her, what she represents, background music, additional time for you with music so you can sit and meditate what comes through your channel when you meditate upon her. So listen to the end, get that with you. And I also want to address why I don't do live videos on the Tarot. Just letting you know that when I do the Tarot, I go into a flow, all right? I don't stop and pick out cards and explain the cards. Now I do that in teaching scenarios and I just wanna give you a little heads up that I am working here on Tarot Course that will soon be available to you if you are one of those that are ready now to expand your mind, expand your consciousness, grow with the Tarot. I will be happy to teach you easy steps of how you can learn the cards. More on that will come later when it's all ready. Just sign up for the newsletter so that you can be updated upon that. The easiest way to get to the website to sign up is up here to the right hand corner. You'll see the little information button when you hover over it with your mouse and it'll take you straight to the site. So Taurus, so we're going to be looking at what you can expect here and anticipate. Uh, this month and I'm um, seeing there's a male person that's quite predominant here as we start off the month he comes across as a fire sign Sagittarius Aries or Leo so does he necessarily need to be born in that sign not necessarily so it could be the way he admits his energy so of course it could be his moon it could be his rising sign but what it does mean is that this man is very energetically focused on wanting to get something solved or done um, and I see him being very uh, passionately focused on a certain topic here. And so this is going to tie you in to whatever this situation here may be. Now, uh, I, I see that you might feel a little bound financially this month, at least as the month starts out. This can improve as we go through later on into the month where things might solve itself. But initially, you might just feel that there's something that you would really like either to purchase or uh, engage into and uh, something that sounds exciting for you, but you're kind of like really being a little um, frugal right now due to whatever circumstances are. And so you might need to put that need or that desire, that wish aside for a little bit, but don't be down because of it, because I see how things are coming up here when we get closer towards the end of the month. Um, there's a situation too here. This is between you and a male and it could be that first male that we did see initially here. Uh, right now he's coming up as somebody very important to you. Okay. Somebody who really holds um, respect in your eyes and there's a decision and this decision has something to do with where you might not necessarily see eye to eye on a specific situation. You might want to take something down this direction. He might just want to go down that direction. However, though, it doesn't necessarily even have to end up with either or. It's all about finding the midpoint. And if you do, then I'm seeing how things are really going to ravel up here in a good way where I feel that it's going to leave both of you actually stronger and happy due to being able to shift one's focus. So uh, as long as we keep uh, ego mm, discussions out of this, or the I am, uh, I want out, where we can see the other person's uh, perspective and why they're trying to push their point, then something's gonna give. And you will see that your partner too will shift and see your needs. So it's seeing the other's needs in order to get one's own needs met. This is why I'm thinking it has a double whammy effect uh, and still whatever the issue is, is going to be able to be fulfilled, done or accomplished. And yet it's leaving you a little stronger here. There's good news here about a family member and it's a younger family member. So if you have a son, it could be him. It could be somebody else in the family at large. 
But this young man, should I say, there's changes, new beginnings, and uh, there there's a shift of consciousness and perspective coming from him. And you will come to hear this good news, and I see it's going to tickle your heart pink. So it's definitely somebody that you care about that is close to your heart. Now, this young man is a very smart individual. Uh, he is very intellectual, too, and I feel uh, his communication skills are good it's like right now his will is very strong uh, as far as his focus and what it is he's aiming towards to wanting to achieve and so i see that you're just nothing but full support here for him now there could have been a situation here in the past that's been requiring some healing so ask yourself in which aspect do you require healing with whom or where, or when did it take place, it looks like we can actually roll back the time a little bit and see that it's somewhere in your past where something just had a hiccup and then it kind of just went into a full lockdown. Now, as they say, time heals all things. Enough water under the bridge, you know, and things can be easier let go of, uh, forgiven, and uh, then we start again. So I'm feeling that in that situation for you, time might be coming now. I see you feeling a little insecure if it is the right time, but you're going to be feeling the awakening, the calling of that we're getting close to something there. So there is still a few, um, should I say, circumstances that are still there and something that really needs to be discussed in an open way so the full situation can be seen in a, in an objective manner so you will at least be thinking about that here now as we proceed. Now, there could be some travel here, Taurus, for you. And in that case, that travel should be good. There's a female upon this journey where I feel you can really not only just have good communication, but tie some good bonds with it. It might be a new person uh, coming in. And in that case, it seems like this is a person you're wanting to stay a little closer to have more of but it, it looks like if you are traveling you will meet her upon your travel because she lives some distance away your own relationship this month um, it's steady uh, I don't really see any huge big ups or any big downs it's more like there is a, a balance a sense of tranquility harmony uh, you've uh, worked a lot here uh, over the recent past so right now, this month, it just seems like it's in the status quo of things flowing. And that is good. We can't ask for more than that. If there's harmony, we're happy, right? But no biggies, no big wows, no unexpected things. So this is good. But you might have a discussion here with your partner as far as looking into money or funds or perhaps also how something can be secured with your financial situation. And I feel it's not new. It's something where you've already been around the block once or twice. But I think what is lacking yet is the very action upon. That can be taking place here uh, this month. But you're pretty much here feeling that life is coming back around. There is a sense of renewal. It's like I can see how your energies, Taurus, is opening up. Like the funnel, the crown above your head opening up to the universe and taking it all in inspiration spirituality feeling like you're coming alive like there is definitely definitely purpose now coming back into your life and for some of you it's been a very difficult time over the last couple of years that you've come through so this is more should i say the awakening or the rebirthing for you and uh, there's a sense of success you're, you're feeling really good about uh, regaining that sense of control in your life and it's making you feel optimistic you're looking towards the future you're making plans there's hopes there's dreams and things that you would like to advance upon too so you might just find yourself wanting to deepen into more of the spiritual uh, fields where the awakening of the inner self your purpose life goals and so forth and i think that is something that you could really come to enjoy as well when it comes to your career remember we started out saying that okay there might be a little tightness or worry 
um, financially uh, in the beginning of the month. But I'm seeing here as we're, we get closer to the end of October, there is security. There is a feeling of knowing where you're heading. You're feeling that you can now start embracing the security in your life. And as far as your career goes, there is also something new as if either a new agreement, it might be a new product that you're going to be adding to your services, uh, or your company might be adding some new service that you will be hearing about. But it's all good. You're, you're feeling uh, totally on par with that and uh, can't wait to get things up and going. For you right now, Taurus, it's all about implementing excitement, anything that represents new energy. I see you're all opened up to uh, embrace it. It's a s social month here. Now, somebody somewhere might have a birthday or uh, some other kind of celebration. So I'm feeling you're happy for this person. And there's a gathering of people around too. So it might just be an event, a special event that you could be invited to. And in that case, all is good. A happy crowd, just really happy crowd around you. And you're, I see that you're just very joyous to be a part of it. So listen, I am sending you straight off to the meditation for this month. And if you're liking this edition, I'd truly really appreciate it if you can click thumbs up or click the like button. It gives me a little feedback of what you enjoy. I'm always looking for new ways to expand things and your entertainment, okay? Records, 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 records. All that you have experienced in the past. Is written here. Written here. Is written here. Like your destiny will be revealed here. The High Priestess is your higher self, your guardian angel, from the dimensions up above, guiding you, leading you. Tune in to your higher. This is a time of revelation. It is, it is a time, time where you will connect, connect and reconnect, connect, connect to the past, revealing the now, revealing the now, revealing the now. opening towards the future. Towards the future. Priestess shows Show up, up when it's time to listen to the end. Be aware that external circumstances that external don't captivate you to the point. To, to be, be at, at one, one with yourself. This, this is the message, the message of the high priest, the high priest within, you, within you, within you. Now, I will leave you.
to meditate to for meditate. a while. For a while.
Thank you.